That's okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. She she climbs on the back of the unicorn. Okay. And she reaches her hand. She summoned the steed. Okay, I'll get on top of the <laughs> unicorn. Okay, so now horses is fun. He go pretty fast. Not as fast as a cheetah, mind you, but uh, it's going pretty fast. And you, you are already where um, you're brought to a room. It's a much smaller room than, than um, the large vastness that you wear outside. And the gentleman says to you, please sit. And they bring out a recliner. Now, have you seen those, uh, those anti-gravity uh, chairs of the they're, they're more, um, it looks like a rattan chair, but it's rattan made out of, out of uh, some kind of plexi steel. Okay, it has that kind of contour. It's, um, it's, um, um, anatomically correct so that you would have the most, utmost comfort without chafing, without any cobble tunnel or any of the other ill effects of sitting in one of the, the that's such a sweet country. <laughs> he says, please. Then, uh, he says, if you do not mind, I'll put this helmet on you. Is that going to fit over my helmet? Or it's it's a fairly large, it looks like a football helmet with all of these uh, electrodes uh, sticking out of the top. He says, this is a teaching helmet. Can I take my helmet off? Could I breathe without my helmet? You know, you're still, you're still I don't see why not. I'm breathing. You well, notice he's not, he's not wearing a helmet. Well, I have no way of knowing what you breathe. You could breathe the same thing, but... Okay. It's an oxygen-nitrogen mix. Standard Earth uh, type of, of I'll take atmosphere. I'll take mine off, too. You don't know you're not there. Okay. <laughs> we have been visiting your planet for the last 400 million years. So we're quite aware of what you eat, what you eat, what you are afraid of. We know of your evolution. We know of your technology. We know because we've been spoon feeding it to you for the last uh, and several. I'm sure that you guys are the ones that um, coaxed our very evolution. You mean genetically engineered about uh, fifty thousand years ago? Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> You're bright guy. Figure it out already. Congratulations. What would you like to learn? Well, there's so many things I could learn. I'm not sure where to begin. But you then again, will I even remember, remember since you said we won't? You won't remember the happenings here. But you would not remember to go and tell your people back on Earth that you saw aliens, that you saw this <laughs> paradisical um, garden. Okay. And the reason being, if you were to go back to your home world and say that, yeah. soon do you think they will slap you into an insane asylum and probably do a frontal lobotomy on you? Do you want to take that risk? No, I'm assuming you're going to erase whatever pictures I may have taken as well. <clears throat> that is not necessary. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Why? Because if it is in the camera, we can make it so that these pictures are not developed ah. for the next 30, 40 years when people are more receptive to this sort of knowledge. Okay. 30, 40 years from now, yes, you will be able to talk about this sort of thing with a little bit more freedom. World will change greatly in the next 40 years. You would not recognize it. Okay. Well, like I said, I wouldn't know where to begin. There's so much I would like to learn. What subject matter do you like most? I mean, well, I am a physicist. You want to continue on that vein? Yes. Please. Helmet on. Okay, so 
He um, pushes the button. And um, no, you bring your mic slowly. <laughs> you get the sensation that you are moving so rapidly that the room, when you approach a certain velocity, the um, color spectrum changes. Mm. Okay. So this is what's happening in your mind. The color spectrum is changing. And um, it's like your brain, you feel like your brain is expanding. Huge. Um, that's a, just a sensation that you feel. You're encompassing a great deal more knowledge than you ever known before. Please. <laughs> anyway, so your your mind is expanding greatly, and then you you uh, see things that you would never have known in the 1964. Things like wormholes, mm -hmm. things like um, um, isotonic, things like um, ionic drive. You know, things that that. Uh, things like ice. Like what? Ice. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go there. <laughs> but you get the principles for it. Of course. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to give you. Like, no, just the, the principles. You have to figure it out this myself. Is, this is the, your dream. You have to formulate the yeah. ins and out for it. When you think about it. But you are given, right here and now, all the principles that will lead up to it. All the tools that you need. If you think about it, lightsaber was the evolution of the modern molecular blade, which has been around in science fiction for a while. Remember, George Lucas never invented anything new. He just ripped a whole bunch of stuff off and made a possible movie. However, you mentioned it came from science fiction. Not science fact. Yes, exactly. Well, what I'm learning are the facts. You're learning so now it's the principles. <laughs> You're learning the We're principles, learning the principles so. that will make whatever fiction possible. Right. Make science fiction to fiction. So, uh, okay. I learned it. Oh, did you know that, that in my science fiction class way back when, Ben Bova's stepson was the guy who sat next to me? Really? You know who Ben Bova was? Yeah. The editor of the Science Fiction Science Facts magazine? I know I lived a wild and crazy life, and I met a lot of people who you would not have um, believed that I would have met. Anyway. Okay. David. Do you have any questions? If you go back to your Dr. Um, Einstein, uh -huh. he and some of his colleagues have hit upon, they call it the Akashic uh, Files. This, this is where he reaches when he goes into his dream experiments. Akashic Files, if I pronounced it correctly. Sorry, guys. Anyway, he stated the human mind can project a thought faster than anything else, faster than the speed of light. Your thought can reach the other side of your world within seconds. That's I was trying to put it in terms, of, put it in terms that you can relate to. Very well. I don't have full access to the Akashic files here. But you can do what Einstein has done. And as I was saying, we speak to you by telepathy. I only read explicit thoughts because I'm controlling myself. I do not delve deeper into your mind 
and you will allow me to. It is a vast invasion of privacy, and that is distasteful to us, as it would be to you. We have ethics. Thank you. Um, you are our children. You have to know this. Yes. Why don't we look like you? Evolutionary process, besides that you only have a portion of our DNA makeup. Mm -hmm. Have that question. We are not the bioengineers that originally did that, or many generations after that. But we have been coming to your world, and there's not just one alien species that has come to visit you. Well, I'm not surprised. There are hundreds, if not thousands. I do not know them all myself personally, but we have been visiting. Any and dangerous species? Yes. And this is why some of us have been watching you, guarding you, protecting you. Other than the fact that we are... And we are, we are happy that you are here because if you are here, we are offering you the ability to join us. We are looking for those from your planet to recruit into our forces to help protect this world, to help ward off those with ill intentions from other places. Obviously, this is on an individual basis. How would this work if we're unaware of the occurrence? This is why you come here to be tutored. However, if you are not recruited by us, you will not remember. We are giving you gifts. Right now, we gave you, I gave you a gift. giving you access to the Akashic records. I will tell you how you can, you can access it. Okay, so are you recruiting me? I don't know. Do you want to join us? Is it something that you want to do? May I suggest you sleep on it? When you have learned what you need, and when you are tired, I will bring you back. You will have refreshments, and you can retire for the night. I'll bring you back to where your, your companions are. Okay. May I ask, is this more than you can absorb? I can I mean, emotionally absorb. Is this overwhelming for you emotionally? Because anytime you say the word, we will pull back. It is overwhelming, but it's, I can't speak for my uh, compatriots, but personally, I'm curious enough that it's, I can handle it. Good. You realize that for you, this is the first day of kindergarten. I get the reference. <laughs> 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 and it would be overwhelming regardless. I mean, it's, can't say it's not, but... Scientists are usually more curious than brave than we're right. Are you done? Do you want to go back? I'll take your advice and sleep on it. Okay. Do you want to learn any more? A different language, maybe? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to learn a Terran language? A solar system language? A um, local galaxy group language? Your pick. Local galaxy. What would be most beneficial? For now, I would work under Terran languages. Because, because in the next 40 years, since your planet is very bellicostic, <laughs> there are, there's going to be a lot of wars that's going to be happening. Okay, well. And perhaps the future leaders of your world might need interpreters to act as emissaries and diplomats. 
That's a possibility. Then in that case... I'll you could be working with scientists from around the world. I'll do Terran languages. The first two languages I would like to learn would be Latin and Mandarin, and then the rest from there. Why those two? Mm, Latin is the root of most of the Western languages, and Mandarin is the root of most of the Asian languages. I thought you would go for something more technical, like German. No, because I figure if you learn the root form, all the others will be easier. That's why I will start with those and then branch out. Very well said. And he takes you, uh, he takes you to, uh, not really takes you anywhere, and you still have it in your head. Uh, he says, think into the Akashic record what it is that you want to learn. All information is in the acoustic record. So I'm plugged in like the Matrix. The, the, uh, <laughs> the helmet that you are wearing is simply an enhancer. At some point you could do what Einstein has been able to do. He has learned how to do it without any kind of artificial aid. I may be here a little longer than planned. <laughs> 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 but yes, I will do so. <laughs> <And I'll>... Okay. <laughs> Did I just hand you a box of candy? Pandora's box. <laughs> More like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be careful that. what you wish for. Uh, right now, my languages. <laughs> I'll stick with that for the moment. Tim, you're being offered. What is it that you want most? <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> you must bear in mind, I am not one of the first born. I will give you whatever information I know. Why are you doing this? Why are you really doing this? Okay. Doing what? Taking us in like this, giving us all this stuff, and not, not asking anything in return. I did not say I'm not asking anything in return. What do you want from us? It is our hope that we will be able to recruit you into our armies once we have given you Oh, I see. Oh, we're bellicose. You have an army. Oh my, aren't we so much better than us? You still give them, you still, have, you still got war going on, huh? Tell me more about this. The Tell war, me why you war? need uh, the, the... We don't the, need you. No. No. No, no, no. Please, get it right. Huh. It is not need on our part. But I will tell you the truth. Since I am not one of the firstborn, I cannot tell you what it was like in the beginning. But from the beginning, and this is according to the the, the uh, lessons I have learned, what I have been told. The book of Genesis. Mm. Yes. Um, there are two sides of everything. There is the negative and the positive. We hope to consider ourselves positive and nurturing. We are the ones who have been coming to your world for thousands of years, millions of years, as a matter of fact, trying to help a particular sentient life form evolve to a point where they are intelligent enough to join us. Now, as I said, from the very beginning there was a negative and a positive. This is not a war of my making. This is not a war that I see or foresee ever ending, except at the end of all time, which probably will be well beyond your lifespan. <laughs> However, we have been coming to this earth, nurturing the uh, life forms here, protecting the life forms here, teaching the life forms here, in hope that someday the sentient ones would join us out here so we can tutor them and welcome them into our community, into our society. Interesting. Now, the thing about being bellicose, if we jump into a rage at every opportunity, then we will completely annihilate ourselves, and this is not practical. However, if we learn to be judicious and pick our battles, to learn who our friends are from those who have potential of being our enemies, we could quite possibly prevail. So 
your feet. Okay. okay. Now, for this, we are willing to give you certain gifts. Your captain has chosen his gift and has gone off to receive it. What is your dream? What is your desire? I do not, I could very well go into your mind and just take it from I you, want, want but we find that very distasteful. I'm with, I want to be the best I am. I'm sorry, the best that? Hello. I want to be the best thing. Um, you know what? I'm a soldier. You know that? Yes. I want to be the best of it. I want to, I want to be the best of what I do. I see. And what features would you like in order to be? What features do you... You're at war. I want to be trained to fight that war. The war that we are um, waging out in the universe um, uses technology that is so different, so vastly different. From I want to fight a battle that's worth fighting. I've been in the battles here, and that's why I got out. Yes. So people go now for politics, for, for arguments among people that don't give a crap about us, for, I, for all that. And I got out because I got sick of it. I can't help being who I am. I am what I am. But I'm going to have to have a But my destiny and my, my, I have a certain, if my, if my skill set has me do this. If I may. If I may. May I? She reaches over and she puts her hand on the inner side of your temple. Now, it flashes through your mind, but you have a vision mind of um, this wonderful paradisical uh, place. It's not Earth. It's not your Earth. And it is somewhat akin to what you have thought in your mind what the Garden of Eden really was like. But you have a feeling that this was so far back in distant uh, past that it had nothing to do with your Earth. It was long before Earth was even Earth is only 4 billion years old, okay? This was so far back in time that you can't place it. But you have a feeling that you see this beautiful paradise, and then you see that something dark and distant has come, and suddenly there was. And you get, you don't get an actual picture of physical creature, but you get the, the idea that there is wonderful, positive feeling against a dark, dismal, hideousness. We need to turn the lights on outside. She so said, this is the batter that we are looking to recruit for. you can ideologically find yourself champion. Yes. Good. How would you like to improve yourself? Any dream that you have? Not a dream of, of energy pistol, a suit of armor, a flight suit. It will give me a mini to allow me to survive in space. And some March arts. Well, I probably have the March arts training. Anyhow. Basically, what I am just with better stuff. You don't want to improve your, yourself, no. your body, faster. If I, can't do it, if I can't do what I am with what I have, I don't want to. I don't want to change it. Very well. If I can't be reliant on my own skills, then I'm less of a man because of it. Very well. Open your eyes. She points behind you mm -hmm. and lay on a chair is a um, garment, and all around it are these equipment, whatever it is that you have asked for. Okay. It's like I'm a superhero. Yay! You may go and uh, familiarize yourself with it. You're Batman. No, I'm... Okay, you're not rich, but you've got gadgets. 
<laughs> Your engineer that's still on the uh, capsule. Is he afraid? You know, he Has came he on board with us. I don't know how he finagled his way out of this freaking mission, <laughs> but he hasn't done a damn a thing yet right so far. Yes, he has. He got the radio working. Scared. Yeah, he's scared, but he got the radio working. Um, let's talk to this guy. He needs a little help, too. You know, in my world, ever since World War II, you might not notice there's been these guys running around in, like, costumes and stuff, fighting the other guys, sometimes criminals and saving the world. You mean police officers? Are there superheroes in your world? Uh -huh. Actual superheroes. Is it common or we, do, we, we, we never heard of them? Actually, in your world, we were the superheroes. We are faster. We are stronger. We are smarter. We come. We are much older than you. We have evolved tremendously. We have come and tried to tweak your DNA. Time. You guys are a little difficult to work with. However, <laughs> we're bellicose. <laughs> <laughs> Good at that. However, do you this. Come Sesame Street. <laughs> do this. She claps her hand, and as she opens up her hand again, there's a Kafka spaniel puppy in her hand. Take this to your your engineer. Okay. So your brother's gonna have to suck it up and do something in this game, just sitting in the corner, you know? <laughs> I don't know what it's playing on that game. There's a taco spaniel. You know, he's making the um, elemental kind of person, but with, um, with electric, electrical. Okay, well. Like an electric elemental music or something. Can I get the Oh, she's praying to the gods. We're in trouble now. I have a neck. Pain in the neck, huh? Pain in the neck, yeah. My evil overlord. <laughs> There's an armada hiding in the sun. Hmm. What do you mean an armada hmm. heading in the sun? Hiding in the sun. <laughs> They're on Lagrange Point on either side of the sun. Where Lagrange postulated that there's a possibility of Armanos hiding at yeah, those points. They confirmed it. <laughs> Today, but they didn't in 1964. Again, they confirmed it. Today, yeah. Since 1964. Virtual is up in 1964. And this pyramid has been sitting here for 400 million years. You know, no one's seen it. Wow. What? Is it the dark side of the moon? Hello? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, they've been on our planet. Egyptian gods. Sumerian gods. The Anunnaki. Mm -hmm. Aztec gods. Mm -hmm. Name of them. Any of them. The ant people. The snake people. Hanuman. Hmm? Hanuman. One of the Indian gods from India. Norse gods. All around this world, the legends of the sky people are, is ubiquitous. Mm -hmm. well, there's pyramids all over the world. Even though they may be shaped a little different, they're all pyramids. They're all pyramids. But, Back in 1964, you only heard of three. Who's three? The 
the ones in Eva, the three pyramids, they were one of the seven wonders of the world. Yeah. You have to remember, 1964, how old was I? I was just starting to school, just learning English. And just being was humanity aware of any of the pyramids in Mexico and Africa? The Mexicans were. So there's two. Right? The, the Mayans were. Yeah. Yeah. The ones in China were aware. Mm -hmm. But the thing in 1964, you have to remember that you did not have um, communication. Yeah, no. Ready no, no. communication. We were scared. We were terrified to poke our nose out of your neighborhood, let alone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. In 1964, um, I was, like I said, learning English. And there was these weird things that came on TV called uh, the uh, Westerns. There was Bates, West of Pennsylvania. <laughs> I heard about Missouri. I didn't actually believe Missouri existed <laughs> until after I met my ex-husband and we went off to Missouri to meet his mom and dad. Oh, this place really does exist! Yeah, people knew about the states. I didn't. I mean, what I say, I mean, I'm born and born. I wasn't born here. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I mean humanity in general. Not everybody, because obviously communication wasn't great and society wasn't the way it is. But scientists and archaeologists, those people at least have some idea, some, some idea of yeah. some of these things. And and they were bringing back information slowly but surely. The Egyptian pyramid, um, Tutankhamen, was discovered in 1924. Yeah, a lot of stuff has been recently discovered in the past. What, 150, 200 years? Exactly. Yeah. It's been a very slow slog. Up until recently. You had um, Eric von Donneken, who said, wait a minute, my God doesn't need, he was reading the Bible, he says, my God doesn't need this, you know, because he thought his God was a spirit. Mm -hmm. And God could be everywhere. So why would your God need a vehicle to fly? So Chariot of the gods. Yeah. I, mean, I haven't read it, but I know, I know. I believe it came out in 1964. Okay. It came out right around the time my brother was born in 1966. So 1964, I was too young to have read it. <laughs> Tim is not here, but I'm going to run this character. Okay. He comes out of the boy on the ship. And where are you now? I'm still on the ship trying to get communication or anything up and running. So you're hiding behind the um, the uh, um, the wiring and stuff like that, and you're busy, and then you hear something. It is impossible for you to hear this, but you hear. <laughs> what the? I start looking around, investigating. You come out, and Tim's character he comes. In with a flight, he's wearing his space suit, but he's not wearing his helmet. In his arm is this wiggly, furry creature trying to very desperately get out of his arms. Where'd you get the puppy? It was given to me. By who? Were you watching? No. Well, there are these two aliens that we met. And one of them gave me this to you. So uh, welcome to you. I don't normally accept things from aliens. When have you met an alien before? I haven't. I've read lots of stories about them. Mm. Yeah, so have I. Man, this doesn't look like a blob. You want to put it in a cage so you can feel safer? Do you have cages up on the ship? <laughs> You're an engineer, I'm sure you could cook <laughs> one up. But, in the meantime, look what I got. He shows you his stuff. He has a new space um, 
suit. He has all kinds of ammunition. You, I tell you, you've never seen technology like this before. This is hundreds of years older than, this is hundreds of years in advance of what we have. And you're wearing it, why? No, no, he, he's carrying it. Okay, okay. Yeah, he's carrying his, his, um... And why would they give it to you? Tim has to, um, to roleplay that part. Is he around? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not going to roleplay. Certain information I give to players, they have to disseminate. Where is Tim? I don't know what he was doing. He was looking for something, I think. I think it's dinner time. I, I said to turn on the light outside and in the house. And he disappeared. Whenever you want to finish learning, you can, you can come back, you can 
you, you're there when Tim is, is finished. Tim is showing all the cool toys that he was just given. And he's going to go back to the ship to try to convince the engineer to be brave. <laughs> I'm going to still learn this. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, the girl is coming with... with I'm going to assume that I can learn about the powers that I decide I want to have. I'm sorry? I guess I can learn about the powers that I decide I want to have. So I'm going to learn that. And then I'll what, are, what are the powers that you want? <sighs> Telekinesis, force field, mind shield, and telepathy. You want to be a mentalist? Essentially. What do I say? You got a good start. <laughs> <laughs> what a lightsaber. <laughs> you got a good start. So I'll learn what I need to learn and then come back to the ship to yeah. Right. The whole time. Now um the man who the alien that brought you there is going to tell you if you are a mentalist, be forewarned. If you try to read somebody's mind, um more than a, a surface touch, you may have resistance, depending on who you're trying to mind read. You might have backlash. It is a chance that you're taking. If you're willing to take it, are you willing to take it? Only when necessary. In most cases, I don't want to anticipate having to use that kind of thing. Good. I'm glad that you realize. But in the um, interests of goodwill, I have to give you full disclosure. Yes, if this is if this is what you you want to have, it is not something I chose myself. I have known others who have. Some have done fairly well, and others have not. Everything is um. What do you say in your um, in your world? Everything is a a. You know you know when you throw, throw the dice up against the side wall. Oh, Game of chance. Crap shoot. <laughs> Did I use the wrong term? No, you didn't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Crap shoot, that's... Okay. Full disclosure. <laughs> Crap shoot. <laughs> now, are you willing to help join us in our fight against the ultimate evil? Have I slept on it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me sleep on it. I'm leaning towards yes, but let me sleep on it. If you wish, I will take you back to our original meeting point. Yeah, I will go back with my uh, crewmates and yeah. we'll rest on it a while. So he, he carries you back and he meets Daylene and he smiles at her. She smiles and nods at him. Here. And meet up with Tim again. The engineer is still cowering. I mean, still working. Cowering is uh, probably appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Tim, what's all that stuff you got over there? Was it his new toys? My nice toys. Yeah. You can come out the ship. There's oxygen out here. I don't have my helmet on. You can see outside the port all of that. He's standing there with no uh, helmet on. I ain't coming up. And you know, uh, the girl comes up to you and says, um, I would like to have permission. You are the captain. May I have permission to come aboard this ship? Yes. Thank you. Like it or not, he, he, she and the puppy are coming on board. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim, uh, Tim can't carry the puppy. He's on his full of ammunition. You want to carry the dog or, or should she? I'll carry the dog. Okay. The puppy's licking you all over your face. That's puppy fine. slobber. <laughs>
to introduce ourselves and to offer you our gifts. You are free to leave whenever you wish. Where are you from in the world? Texas. Okay. <laughs> um, are you Mexican? <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a white guy. Well, how many languages do you speak? You see where I'm trying to go at this is a Texas job. <laughs> I guess that's not going to work. I wonder if I could speak to him next. I'll try that. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'll try it. Can you hear me? I'm not using my mouth. Use your, um, um, I think you have telepathy there. Yeah. Yeah, you should telepathic skills. But I'd be able to brush surface thought. The surface thought, yeah. I can't actually speak to him because I don't have, I'm, I need one more point in it, but I can read his thoughts. Let's see if you perceive. So, roll your perception to see if you feel as if there's anything in your mind. Right? You feel a little uneasiness, but then it, it, it brushes away. Huh. But his surface thought, yeah, he's cowering. And you see a little kid, cool. excuse me, I'm talking. You see a little kid crawl under the bed and pull over the sheet. No, you see a little kid in the bed pulling the sheet up over his face, his eyes. And, you know, and, 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 She's wearing silvery clothes. It looks like a jumpsuit that has been painted on rather than something that she puts the zipper on. Like I said, there's a hot girl standing in the middle of our ship without a spacesuit on. <laughs> She's an alien. And, and the, the, no, right, the unicorn's outside. Okay. <laughs> I'll turn to her and um, I'll say, um, Give me a few hours to help get him calm <laughs> down. Read the story of Noah's Ark. Okay, I will do that. <laughs> Especially the one where they talk about. Um, do you remember that song? It was an Irish song about something happened to the poor unicorn. It was a cute little. It was one of my oh, favorite yeah. songs. Scared unicorn didn't get the message. <laughs> Something like that, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. No one was able to get the <laughs> Right. Yeah, I, I would just do all, break it all down. <laughs> evolutionary aspect and everything. No, they, I just read a theory yesterday that somebody said there was unicorns in the Bible. And so I have to read the Bible now to find out whether or not Job 40, verse 15. Dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Leviathan and you know the column like leg and stuff. They did mention dinosaurs. That's exactly what you find in Job 40, verse 15. All the way through 41. <laughs> I memorized that one. <laughs> <laughs> she actually read it regardless of the, the band that they had for us kids. We were not allowed to read it. Should have sneaked it anyway. If I knew it had that much science fiction and fantasy in it, I should have read it. Yeah. Damn. Good. Well, I'll break down everything to him about um, Noah's Ark, but I'll break it down in a more scientific fashion, explaining the aliens and their participation and so on. As far as him being overwhelmed, hopefully that helps. <laughs> Hell, I'm overwhelmed my damn self, but... <laughs> but um, this is what's going on, and in the long run, if they were really wanted to hurt us, they could have done it long before you and I were born. So there's nothing you can do, you may as well relax and learn what you can learn. I'm fine. You won't be brainwashed, but okay. 
Yeah. Let me tell how the girl's arms and, and, and is, is nipping at your, your heels right now and running around you and just wiggling around, acting real puppy-like and trying to climb up your leg. And you're being away. humped. You're being humped. No way! <laughs> <laughs> Puppies hump in your leg. Puppies don't hump. Yeah, they do. Grown dogs do. Oh, no, no. It's a puppy. Oh, no, no. It's a chihuahua. <laughs> oh, I it's a got dog. We we had a we we had a chihuahua and it was it was sad. I couldn't take care of the chihuahua. I just couldn't. But you have this cocker spaniel um, going around you, trying to jump on you, and uh, trying to lick you and lick you. Cocker when he was much younger. <laughs> we actually have a cocker spaniel with us. Copper. Copper is his name. Yes. Oh, I'm a cat person. <laughs> Me too, honestly, but copper is still cool. I'm sorry, she didn't, she's honestly honest. If, if he had told her, then you would have had a cat. Okay. What kind of cat do you like, prefer? Uh, a blue Russian cat? It's a blue Russian yes. cat. A what? Blue Russian cat. Petal allergen. Aww. That's what your puppy looks like, that's trying to jump on you. Yeah. <laughs> Super energetic. How did I know that you guys had a cocker spaniel? I don't know how you can look up. <laughs> he was my son's dog and we couldn't carry him with us when we left Miami, so he ended up staying here. He's old now. Oh, he's, oh, he's still in good health. He's just old. Yeah, he's not caring as much. Okay, so she asked, um, would you care to join us? We have much to offer you. If you give us a chance to speak, that's all we ask. A chance to speak to you. You're speaking right now, aren't you? Actually, um, yes, we spoke to you. We spoke to you. <laughs> so, uh, if I may have a, a chance to sit down, and we will uh, talk to you. However, if you choose to to not take our offer, you will have no memory of any of this when you return home. There is a threat. There's a huge threat throughout the universe. And since you are familiar with some of the things in the Bible, you have to know that in the Bible, since the very beginning, evil was created or came about at the same time as good. And there has been a war between them ever since. Good versus evil. We would like to consider ourselves the good force, the positive force. We are among those who have been back to your planet, nurturing, helping um, raise you, helping um, teach you, helping protect you for all of these millennia. 400 million years we have been coming to your planet. 400 million, we're hardly strangers. However, you can choose to join us or not. It is your choice. If you choose to join us, we are willing to give you gifts. I don't know about all this. What well, was it that your character um, wanted to be again? An engineer, an electrical engineer. And I have character based off electricity. Electricity. You want to be able to uh, a beam of energy from your hands, from your eyes, or I can. I have the ability to shoot it from my hands. So the ability to change into that form. Very well. May well, I? This body goes from it. May I? She comes over. She reaches out and puts her hands out. Please. May I have your hand? Okay. You touch it for just a couple of seconds and then you pull away. She says, try to push this. And she puts a, a small cube on the table. Push it with your hands, with your will alone. Gently, not too strongly. What <laughs> 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 the hell, man? Shit! <laughs> you try it. I try it. Okay, roll uh, whatever you need to roll to use your power. I guess in the energy bar? Yes. Four, five, uh, fifteen. Fifteen? Well, that's 
disrespectful to me. <laughs> the cube gets hurled across the table and hits the wall. She says, that is a gift that we are willing to give you if you join us. Do you want to know more? Do you have any questions? The puppy licks your knee. <laughs> it jumps on your lap while you're sitting down and it's trying to lick your face. And I'm going to keep it from licking my face now. Because <laughs> I'm a little bit overwhelmed. <laughs> a little? Would you like some time to think about it? This is I just nod my head and don't even say anything. This is a momentous decision. We will give you time to sleep on it. Think about it. Your captain still has to think about his decision. Mr. Timberland, I believe, is making up his mind as well. But bear in mind, even though you're safe here, you will not be safe once you leave this structure. We are protecting you here inside this structure from. There are so many creatures throughout the universe, so many that have the capacity of coming here. If your scientists think that it is going to take us, you know, 10 to 100 light years to come here, you, you, read the, you went through the Akashic record. She says, they know so little. There is, there is technology that can see certain um, species from one end of the universe to the other in a matter of seconds. And you, you, you did see it in the Akashic record. Um, <clears throat> part of our problem then is, I'm assuming that's why we're being recruited as we go. But in our world, we're going to continue advancing and coming into space and so on, so we're only going to become more and more vulnerable. We are there teaching you. It's us that's advancing your technology. It is us. And we have several places around the world, especially remote places, that have turrets, like the one that they have to do. But these turrets actually protect your world. <coughs> There has been near miss, near Earth objects since the dinosaurs were destroyed. <laughs> that has been protect, that, 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 that your Earth would have been destroyed a hundred million times. I guess that was one that got through. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it is. Well, would you have liked to see the dinosaurs still being there? I'm not sure that would be a great thing, but. Since everything, <laughs> everything is being, um, everything is being directed. Yeah. We are doing everything we can to protect life on your planet. Everything, but time is coming where we may not be as capable, because as we develop, so does the the opposition. Yeah, that'd be fine. The this opposition is working within our government at all? Ah, excellent question. I am not <laughs> a psychic. He is. This is one of the things that he has to go and find. It's out. possible that these enemies are suppressing our governments. We need to get back to Earth and put a stop to it. Earth that is a possibility. Beach, Earth can be a beachhead. A beachhead huh? That is a possibility. And this is why. We have been waiting here in this area to recruit those who are courageous enough to come. Very well. Shall I repeat the words, we're courageous enough to come? <laughs> or, or not necessarily courageous, but ingenious enough or something like that, you know. This so, is left for the director's daughter. Hey, hey, that's <laughs> 
you got here. We'll take you anyway. <laughs> you found a way to get here. You got here. If you would join us, we will give you the gift that you need. Need? Oh, wow. When you ask, we offered you a gift. Any gift that you ask for is the gift that you need. It is the most appropriate gift. The gift that you ask for, you as a brilliant person, a physicist as you are, you ask for something that you saw as being most appropriate for you. Okay, fitting, your, <laughs> fitting your personality, your needs, your wants. Makes and sense. so you were given. Makes sense. Or it is the gift that you need. He, on the other hand, had a different want and needs. And so mm -hmm. he got something different. Okay. And we are offering you what it is that you need. If you let us know what it is. As Working. a matter of fact, we gave, you, we gave you a taste of it. There is more if you so desire. But you have to let us know if you would join us in our fight against overwhelming evil. Uh, think about this. Just sleep on it, as we told their captain. I'm keeping the puppy for now. <laughs> Makes a good bedtime for Captain. This that goes up your Well, it's been a long day. I'm going to take a nap. Um, Ma'am, can you step outside of the craft for a minute, please? Certainly. What are you going to tell them, ma'am? I'm sorry, what you gonna what? What are we gonna tell like Houston? Obviously we won't be able to tell them the details of everything. I'm sure they'll help us with a cover story or something. Actually you wouldn't be able to tell Houston much. This is what they told you. If you do not join them, then you will have no memory. Yeah, but if you do join them then what? That's I think that's what you're getting at. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure we have some kind of cover story or something to be able to tell them. I come up sometime. Hey, I wouldn't worry about it. We'll deal with it with the and they'll help us. You are going to have to um, be able to skirt the issue because, like he just asked, have they infiltrated the government? Mm -hmm. And it is unknown. You, as a psychic, this is your mission should you choose to accept it. Don't burn Sorry? Don't blow up the message before I walk away. Mission impossible. <laughs> <laughs> Should I choose to accept <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it? was one of my favorite shows back then. Yes, uh, let's sleep on it. You are warned if you go outside of this structure, you're opening yourself up to certain perils. Sleeping right here, I'm not going on it. Okay, so you're in your craft inside of the structure. Yeah. Okay, good. Beep. Give me some tang. And, uh... <laughs> Any of you Russian, you brought the sneak on some vodka or something? Uh, probably <laughs> gonna lose the marine. Yeah, well, I guess... No, there wouldn't be any Russian in, in the, um... In the spacecraft, because they were your rivals and you wanted to get yeah, to the moon yeah, before the Russians at the time. No compromise. No, but uh, you did uh, have missions with them at, at, at some point. I, I, I'm not familiar with the history. You guys could fill me in on that. Anyway, so you're sleeping on it. Puppy snuggling up next to you. Very energetic little thing. What's your name of? Puppy. I was thinking Charles. That was the first one from the Charles. Charles. Hey, that works. Okay. I'm sleeping on it. I'm gonna wake up and go outside and play with a Pegasus or something. Hey. What about? Wait, 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 wait. Well, Pegasus in the Bible. I don't remember having heard of them. I don't know. But I heard. I read something this. Last night, that there were unicorns on, in the Bible, but then you hear so many weird things on, yeah. on, on um, you know, the internet. So not everything can be believable. So that's 
left on it. I'm in. Me too. What about you? What about a family and friends? I'm single. <laughs> Did you tell your family everything? Probably not. <laughs> if, you were, if you were a spy, would you go back and tell your family anything? Spy on No! You know, if you were a spy, you keep them sa safe by telling them nothing. The less they know, the safer they are. Yep. But then the more they would investigate. <laughs> Why would they? They know nothing. Because if you're hiding something from them, if you're very honest. Ah, but apparently, apparently, you don't know very much about women back in the 60s. The woman made you lunch and kissed you goodbye when you left the door. And then as soon as you're gone, she...